And now, weighing in out of the blue corner, Josh the Pong Thompson. 100% agree. And on the other mic, he weighs in from the red corner, Big John McCarthy. All right, well, there's all kinds of talk about all these different fights that are out there, but you got to admit, Josh. They just put out a list of fighters that will be fighting in Abu Dhabi where the UFC just had their show. But the next show there is 308. It is a pay-per-view, and it is headlined by Ilya Tapuria taking on Max Holloway. I mean, this is a great fight, but man, this whole main event right now is going to be our conversation be brought to you by BetUS. The early odds are out, John. And if you're already in, if you're interested in making some money. I'm taking the bet with Max Holloway being the underdog. What is it, George? Talk to me, Goose. What are the odds? Bet US, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and race book. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. Bet US, where the game begins. Max Holloway at a plus 165. Ilya Toperia versus at a minus 200. John, I'm uh, I'm taking uh, Max Holloway. <laughs> I'm t I'm not just taking him. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say a thousand to twelve hundred bucks down on Max Holloway to win this fight. Whoa! Look at the yep. big, look at the big bucks coming out of Josh. You just going all big time. I, 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 look, I'm telling you, anytime I always look and say Max Holloway when given a fight that I look at and I think is going to be more stand up than anything. He's always a guy that I look at and I go, man. He's technically one of the better, you know, stand-up fighters out there. He is slick in the way he's able to break down his opponent and understand what he has to do in adjust adjustments. I think that Tapuria is fantastic. He's got a great ground game also, but he's not that wrestling guy that is the one that can really give Max problems with his takedowns. He's got good takedowns, but Max is very good with his takedown defense. So I look at, and I think you're right. I look and I go, how do I go against Max Holloway? If I get Max Holloway at a plus 165, hello, that is something that I would uh, look look forward to betting on. Yeah, I'm taking that. Look, and there's no dig at Ilya Teporia. Just no. Max on the feet. What we saw with him with Justin Gaethje, he can handle the power. He can handle the movement. He can handle the aggressiveness. Teporia is going to stalk after him. He's just going to stalk to. after Absolutely. him. And Max Holloway is going to be on his bike, sticking and moving, using that long range jab right in his face. He's going to be on, he's going to be on his bike for a little bit, but he's going to eventually stop that forward motion of Ilya Teporia. Absolutely, yep. he is. He will. But my point is, is that Teporia is going to start stalking after him. He's going to start taking in those jabs. He's going to be he's going to be looking like a Pez dispenser in those early <laughs> rounds, and he's going to be kind of chasing a little bit. He's going to be reaching and lunging to get in on Max Holloway. That's going to be his downfall. Max on the feet. I'm sorry. There's a lot of talk about, oh, he was the best boxer in the game in MMA, this and that. He's got great hands. What I like, though, is his fight IQ. Now, he doesn't have the fight IQ with 10 seconds left on the clock, okay? but he's no. got fight IQ in how he uses his movement, how he puts his combinations together, how he threatens the body as well as the head. He, throw, he throws everything at you in the kitchen sink, and it lands. He's accurate with his strikes, no wasted movements. He knows what he's doing. Taporia right now, look, I, I think he's a fantastic fighter. I just think stylistically this is a bad matchup for him. Whether you're an Olympic athlete, professional hockey player, MMA world champion, or just an active kid, Element helps anyone stay hydrated. Each stick pack delivers a meaningful dose of electrolytes free of sugar, artificial colors, or other dodgy ingredients. Get your free sample pack with any Element drink mix purchase through link in bio. Also try the new Element Sparkling, a bold 16 ounce can of sparkling electrolyte water. Roll, train, ride, or play, but stay hydrated and stay salty. You could be right, but you take a look at the entire card. You're looking; they've already got Robert Whitaker going up against Kamzat Shemaev. That's a uh, a fight that was you know supposed to happen. Kamzat got 
you know, sick, couldn't do it. But again, it's also a five round fight, which I said, which I think means a lot in that you got Cyril gone taking on Volkov. Laurent, we just talked to you know, before Laurent Murphy, Dan Ige, like Dan Ige is just, he's just a stud. He's a dog. He's a savage. He just goes after people. So there's a lot of really good fights, but one of the fights that is on there that I think a lot of people, when you look at it, it's the start of the main card. It is Magomed Ankalaev taking on Rakic and Alexander Rakic coming off of the loss against Yuri. Ankalaev, a lot of people thinking that he was going to get the title shot against Pahea. Not happening. He's got to go through Rakic. Yeah, look, I'm looking forward to seeing the Chamaya versus Robert Whitaker fight. I mean, Whitaker can be taken down by Chamaya early in the fight. This will yeah. be a five round fight. Will we see the Chamaya that is able to push past round three? Or will we see him fade again? I, I truly believe that pre-COVID, Chemayev would probably beat Robert Whitaker. Post-COVID, Chemayev, the one that got COVID now has having problems with his condition and his cardio, I think we're going to have some problems. I think Whitaker's going to try to drag this thing into the later rounds if he can get it there. If he gets it into round three, four, and five, I think he starts to take over the fight. You know, the other fight's Volkov. The reach and the range is going to give Gon some problems. That push kick. Yeah, they're both stand-up fighters. They're both stand-up guys, and, and Volkov is just one of those guys. He's hard to deal with. Remember Semi Schultz, Mr. 7'2", big feet, like size 25 shoe or something like that? I mean, that guy was just difficult for any other stand-up guy to have to deal with. Dude, how, how many times was Semi Schultz the K1 champion? I Dude, lost count. He won, he won that Grand Prix so many times because he was just... He was also he was kind best. of at the tail end of when guys like... Um, um, uh, Henry was it Henry Hooft? Uh, who, not Henry Hooft. Um, gosh, man, Jerome LeBanner and uh, oh, what, was, what was Peter Peter Arts. Peter Art. Uh, who was yeah, the other one? Andy Who. You got Mark Hunt, Bernardo. You had so many. God, there were so many guys. They were kind of all at the then end. Had, then Bonjanski came yeah, in. Yeah, Remy was awesome, man. Remy was great. He was awesome. But yeah, the, the, that's kind of. That's where he was at with Cyril Gaon and Volkov, though. Volkov is just that guy that has that long-range striking. It's going to be hard for Gaon to get past. The speed that lives in him will get him there. But I think that he's going to have a hard time getting past those long-range strikes in the beginning. He may figure it out as the fight goes on. We're going to find out. Yeah. The Rakic and um, Uncle Laya fight. Fantastic fight. Fantastic fight. fight. If if Uncle Laya decides to stand, which he will, Okay, I think there's you're giving your guy too many opportunities and chances to win that fight. Too many opportunities and chances. So, Lerone Murphy and Dan Ige, we talked about that. But, but John, the one fight that I want to talk about is because I love old dogs, you know, and RDA is an old dog. That guy RDA is, against Jeff Neal. Great fight. Great it fight. It's a great fight. Jeff Neal's got, you know, power in his hands. He's got a great stand up, not the greatest ground fighter in the world. And, you know, you look at RDA is smart. He comes in, he tries to always put his opponents in their weakest position. So I look for RDA is going to use the stand-up to get to a takedown to try to put Jeff Neal on his butt to take away all of that power and all that skill that he has. But you take Jeff Neal and the way he fought Shavkat. Like, yeah. that was a great fight. I look oh, at, it was awesome. I, I called that the fight of the year. I look at RDA, though, John. I'm like, this might be too much for you. Je might be. Jeff Neal might be giving you, he might be able to exploit you in all different ways. Because look, RDA is oh, like very crafty in terms of like how Orlovsky was able to change the way he fights to extend his career. RDA is doing that right now. He's a yep. fantastic fighter. Very, very fight, a very high fight IQ. He executes every single time he steps inside that cage. I was supposed to fight him a couple of times. And the one time that I was supposed to fight him, they finally they called it off right before they announced the UFC title fight against Pettis. And he ended up fighting somebody else. But him and I were supposed to fight. Kind of lucky I didn't have to fight him because, man, he was a he was a dog. That guy was tough. He was, he was tough. Fighter. And he is a good fighter. I think that's going to nope. be that's going to be one of those fights that's going to kind of still the I think still the show unless RDA is able to take him down, and control the top position, which he may do. But if it ends up being a stand up fight, look for RDA to capitalize on leg kicks, striking, mix in the wrestling a little bit, and kind of try to take over though. Who do you who do you think is going to end up having the performance of the night out of this card, John? Oh man, it really depends. I honestly think that the Laurent Murphy versus Danny Gay fight is going to be exciting. I, mean, I agree. Like, Laurent Laurent Murphy is fast and he's he's talented. He's got great stand up. His ground game is not bad. 
Ige is a dog. He's just a savage that goes out there and tries to find your weakness and put you in a bad place in the fight and get his win. You know, there's a reason why he's called 50K Ige. You know, <laughs> he's exciting. He's fun. He, you know, even he, he goes, he is willing to die on his shield. Now, I don't always say that's a smart, good thing, but it's work for him. It's work for him in his career. And he's the guy that can, he definitely can put a mark on Leron Murphy's, you know, nice 14 and 0 record. He can put that mark on it because he's that good on the ground. And if he, if Ron Murphy makes a mistake, look out, Danny Ige is going to be all over him. Well, look, like we started off on the main event, make sure you guys capitalize at BetUS on the early odds drop with Max Holloway and Ilya Taporia. I'm telling you guys right now, throw that money down on Max Holloway. Don't say I didn't tell you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. BetUS plus 165, Max Holloway. I'm taking that bet, John. And we will see you.